Copenhagen plank. This movement's to bias the adductors or the muscles on the inside of our groin. These are very powerful hip flexors and hip extenders that often get neglected in the majority of people's training. We're gonna use a bench for this that has an open bottom so you're able to grip um, or hold that bottom leg off the ground without having to be in a flex position. That'll make sense here in just a second. Um, the scaled version, we wanna be able to start with your thigh on the bench. As you get stronger, you're gonna move your thigh away from the bench, which is gonna increase the load that goes into your thigh. You need to do a really good job of strength staying in a straight line when we do this. And when I say straight line, I know I'm standing, we're gonna be using the bench here as the plank, but you need to be in a straight line from the side view from your head down to your ankle. A lot of people try to do this and twist so they're not in that straight line. Getting set up is the hardest part, so I recommend being seated on the bench, bringing a hand down, knee to the ground, come down to an elbow, so then my thigh is on the bench and I'm holding this position. So this is what I was talking about of being in a straight line. If you look down, a lot of people will get their butt back behind their ankle and they'll rotate. So they're biasing their glute and their hamstrings. We want to stay with your knees stacked, hips forward, and again, this is the regress position. To make it harder and harder and harder, you scoot further and further and further out till you get to the point where you're holding with just your foot.